so in 2001, I started Project Way. In 2000, which is like I mentioned, was sort of rescue project management. In 2010, I started In-Depth Strategies. And there I consult with companies on business strategy, really setting their strategy and the execution so they don't run into problems and need programs to be rescued. In addition, I coach uh, executives on uh, how to do strategy as well as on leadership and large you know, um, company changing initiatives. So I moved here with Bon, and after uh, two years, I did their largest client's implementation, which was at Boeing, which was at the 40, 54 parts plants, uh, where we did the Bon software implementation. So I hit sort of the glass ceiling within the company, having done the largest client, and which gave me an opportunity to say, what do I want to do next? Then I looked in the United States saying like, hey, it's really easy to start your business in the United States. I've had clients from all kinds of industries because a lot of people ask, are you specific to an industry? But the work I do is really the majority of the aspects have to do with people and the majority of the problems you run into are people induced, uh, either unclear communication, unclear goals. Here, everything runs on network. So the most important thing here is that you know people, that you know how to network, and that you extend your network. And that, when I was just in the country, uh, starting my own business, was the hardest thing to, to start doing that. It is also sort of unnatural for me, I think as a Dutch person, but <laughs> it might be for me personally, uh, to do the networking events, because it's really very, you have to be very outgoing. And what they do is you just ask, so if I wanted to have an interview f with you or you tell me you know somebody at Google, then I would go like, oh, could you introduce me? And that is normal and nobody would get upset and that is what people expect and that is really how business runs here. I think here uh, in, in, in Silicon Valley specifically, American executives are very clear, very driven on their vision. Well, I think from the Dutch side, we have a lot of passion as entrepreneurs, but maybe there's some self-doubt because of the, you know, the Dutch saying of, you know, do normal because that's crazy enough. So there is not this um, believe in our capabilities as much as they have here. I would say the management style in the US, in Silicon Valley, is uh, a lot about the focus on the product, on the investors. Uh, my husband works uh, for, for his third startup, so it is all about you know who's on the board, who are the investors, and what do we need to deliver for that. What I've seen from the Dutch entrepreneurs, at least, you know, I've been away for a while, but when they come with the Dutch missions of the consulate, um, it is a lot more on the product itself and providing, you know, a, a path toward viability around the business instead of that external focus where it is continuously about the new Series A, Series B, the new line of funding. I think that Dutch entrepreneurs coming to Silicon Valley don't understand how important that marketing aspect is, how important that messaging is about, again, about sort of the, the capab showing your capabilities or, and, and, and sort of marketing them. So when you come here and you waffle around what your product or your idea is, people will sort of discard you because it is really, you know, it, that you have to have that very clear sales pitch about this is what we stand for, this is, you know, uh, why we're doing this and this is our value, even if you might not totally know that yet, but if that, that's the current iteration, because this is another aspect that's totally different here, is nobody expects, you know, that story still to stand in a few months from now, because you can change, which they even have a word for it, because it's pivot, and uh, a g great example for that is Slack, if you know that, they, they were working on, you know, a game, they pivoted to this um, uh, what is it? Um, chat program, which is now a business chat program, and they're over $3 billion right now. So you have to have a very strong story, and you can change that story if necessary, if there are reasons to change that story later on. 
understand your network and network. And to do so, you need to have a very strong story elevator pitch about what you're about, what your business is about, and what you know, you're presenting and asking for. And that last part is very important because you should ask for something because people expect it here. They don't expect you just to come with a story. They, they want to help you because it's very easy to ask you know, people for help, but they, you need to make very clear how they can help you. And that is one of the advice I also gave to the Dutch entrepreneurs that came over with the social mission from the Netherlands saying like, when you are at these events, get the business card, have your story ready and ask for what you want. Because you will be surprised how many times people will deliver. Mm -hmm.